Today I'm working on a birthday picture of my three-year-old son. He loves animals, so let's add some butterflies. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Chris McNish, content creator for Sweet Gap Incorporated, where we provide solutions using content creation to tell your story. Before I go any further, remember to hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you wanna be notified when I post more content. I found some butterflies from a company called Paper and Camera. Please check out their site and I'll leave their information in the description. The goal is to add some butterflies in the picture. For the sake of time, I've already retouched my son's skin, so let's do it. All right, we're gonna open up Photoshop. And as you can see here that I've already retouched, the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to add some butterflies. So I have some butterflies here. So I like this one here. So in order to bring this butterfly over to the other picture, make sure that you pick your selection tool. And then in your selection tool, you'll hold it down here, drag it to the picture that you want and then boom uh, yes okay and so let's get some more butterflies I like that one there all right we've got five butterflies and so the first one I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller so I'm gonna press command T let me select it press command T and make this smaller this will be the main focus this is the one I'm gonna have him look at see right there and I'm gonna tilt it over so it makes it seem like it's going right towards him and then we'll bring up this other butterfly and because I want this one to be the focus this butterfly here um, and as you see, the butterfly is going in the different direction. So in order to fix that, go to edit, uh, transform, and then flip horizontal. Let's try it again. Flip horizontal, okay. And so I'm probably gonna put this butterfly right here and I definitely wanna make it smaller. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select these layers here. I'm gonna press Command G and I'm gonna name this Butterflies One. And the reason I'm gonna name it Butterflies One is because I'm going to duplicate the layer, the layer by co pressing Command J. And then I'm going to name this butterflies two. All right, so what that does here is on butterflies two, I'll select this layer and I'll bring it out. Okay, I want to put a blur on them. So I'll take this one here, well, I'll just select it. And what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna right click and then select convert to smart object. And then I click on filter, blur, then motion blur, right? And I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it. So as you can see, before it's in focus, after it's not in focus, okay? And I want to angle it like he's flying towards Deuce there, and then I'm gonna make him more out of focus there, just like that.
Okay, so this is pretty much what we have here. We're just showing some of them. And what I probably need to do is I need to bring some of them back in focus. Okay, so we have our butterflies here. So I think that's fine. And there are sometimes there are some actions where it will not allow you to play the action. So what I have to do is create a time visible stamp layer and I'm gonna press shift command option E so that you can run that action. I'm gonna try the light tricks again, but I just wanna see what it looks like. And it's okay. So it kind of tries to blend everything in together because you know you have layers on top of each other. And so I'm gonna bring down my opacity some. So before and after, it kind of gives a, a vignette too, which is pretty cool. And the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some color in. So I'm gonna go back to the KCC lens filter and I'm gonna actually go to the lens filter here Click on that and I'm going to click on sun glow so it gives it a little color there. I'm going to click on the layer and I'm going to bring down the opacity so that it could blend right in there because the color is a little bit too much. Then what I do is that I toggle back and forth um, to see how it looks and what I'm mainly looking at is the background. Not really paying attention to Deuce because I'm gonna mask the color off his skin. Um, just a, maybe about half of it off of his skin. Cause I'm making his skin a little red, giving it that red color and a little bit of that orange. Then I love peaches and cream. Peaches and cream is very nice. Um, I'll click on the layer and I'm just gonna bring that down some. Good, just like that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close this folder here, add a mask to the folder and see the mask is white. And I make sure that my brush is at 50% and my brush is black. So I'm gonna take down, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see going to take some of that color off in his shirt, his legs, his feet, his pants, I mean his shorts, and just like that. It's pretty cool. Make sure you have a soft brush so you don't see the lines in the changes that you're making. Okay, so before after I think I'm satisfied with that. And then I'm going to add some bokeh. I mean, who doesn't love bokeh? I'm a fan of bokeh. So I'm gonna get the KCC bokeh 1.0. And I did it again. So I'm gonna stop, delete here. And what do I have to do? I have to create a time visible stamp layer. It's gonna create, it's gonna duplicate all the layers that are under it so that I can run my action. Okay, so as you can see here, it gives me a, a uh, mask, a white mask. And so I'm gonna bring this down some, and I'm just looking at the background. I'm not even looking at Deuce. I'm gonna bring that down some. Four. There's your after, so I might bring it back up. Good. And it kind of puts him out of focus, so I'm going to select the mask here. Make sure that my brush is at black. And this time, because I'm, I want Deuce to be in focus, I'm going to make sure that my brush is at 100%. I have a soft brush, and I'm going to take it off do so now he's in focus and not only am I going to take it off deuce but I'm also going to take it off of the focal plane so as you can see here so now the focal plane is back in focus 
we got before and we got after. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos, subscribe to my page and click on that notification bell. Don't forget to leave a comment.